Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to Car Question. This is gonna be a different video today. We're gonna to talk about the problem with the Honda CRV Turbo. You know, I'm always telling you, be careful with those new engines. Be careful when you're gonna send some air in the engine with a supercharger or a turbo over time maintenance. And we need to see how it will evolve. But right now I see a lot of comments coming out from you guys in the States because there is more CRV sold there about a mix of fuel in the oil and the overfilled oil level. There's also a lot of reports that you can smell gas in the cabin. So what's happening with those CRV? It seems that when you cold start that CRV, it's gonna send too much fuel and this fuel is gonna go right there in the oil. It's not really good from a mechanical point of view, but still there's no harm done to the engine. That's what Hyundai is telling us right now. But what will they do? Well, it's simple. Today it's more and more electronics. It's not an engine problem, it's a fuel injection problem. So there's gonna be a progressive recall that's gonna do a update on that PGMFI software on certain units that will have this problem. So right now it tends to go toward the touring version, but A, feel free to comment what model do you have in the description and tell me what's happening with yours. So as soon as you cold start, fuel is in there, a simple computer programmation. Honda is keeping a lot of secret with that problem. So the client that did buy those CRV will have an extension of the warranty, six years unlimited mileage. At least that's what I know so far from the rumors around. So once again, it's not the engine, it's only computer programmations. So today computer are more and more playing a big role in the lifespan of your vehicle and the management. So it's not the same thing that it used to be back in the old days. So the big question that you might have, will it affect my Honda Civic Turbo? How about my Civic Si, my Accord, my Type R? Well, first of all, there's some major difference with the injection, with the turbo compression of these engines. The Civic will turn at 16 PSI, the Sports at 17, the Si at 19, the CRV, the Accord will be at 19. So it's all completely different when it comes to fuel injection also. So with the 2.0 turbo, no problem so far, but we still need time to see how well it will evolve over time. Same thing for the Civic, it's not the same computer programmation. So right now, I don't see the same problem and I don't seem to find a lot of people writing about it on the internet. So we will see over time what's gonna happen to those engines. So until then guys, feel free to comment in the section down there below if you have or don't have that problem. How well also your dealer handles it. So it's supposed to be full warranty coverage for you. Otherwise, comment section is down there. I will also put some links where I check the service bulletin on cars, but also the recall and a lot of comments about you guys on car complaints. Otherwise, subscribe to Car Question and we will do more little mechanical video just like this one. Take care.